Hey guys, Tim Durham with DroneMappingTools.com. In today's Friday Five, we're going to cover setting up and collecting ground control points for your photogrammetry and drone mapping mission. So step one is obviously set up your base, make sure it's level, turn it on, let it warm up, but do not start logging. Step two, set up your rover, turn it on, and again, do not start logging. You want to let both of these warm up maybe five minutes before you start logging. All right, the very next step we're going to do is we're going to get connected to our base. You see we're connected through Wi-Fi. I'm going to open up ReachView 3. The base is connected. All right, I'm going to go to Settings, and let's just take a quick look at our GNSS settings. All right, you see I'm using Static. You see my settings for Elevation and the SNR Mask. All in uh, GPS satellites are selected. I'm at 1 hertz, and the 1 hertz is for... Um, the UBX recording. We'll look at the Rhinex settings here in just a second. So let's go into logging and then I'm going to go into settings and you can see I have selected custom because it's going to now do uh, two, two logs. One is Rhinex, one is uh, for Opus and the other one is going to be the UBX. So there's my settings. I'm in a 30 second interval. My antenna height 1.566. So all that is correct. I'm going to hit cancel and I am now ready to start recording. Do not ever forget to start recording. I've done it once and it was a, uh, you do it once and you'll never, you'll never do it again. Okay, we're done. Let's go get the rover going. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is connect to our rover. I'm gonna check, I am connected to Wi-Fi. Let's open up ReachView 3. The rover is available, I click on that. I'm gonna check settings. Let's look at our GNSS settings for the rover. And you see that the rover's in kinematic where the base was in static. And all the other satellites are selected. I'm at one hertz. I'm gonna close. And let's just go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go to logging. And I'll just let you look at the settings. We're just using the, the UBX default settings there so I'm going to hit cancel and I'm ready to start recording that's it let's start collecting some points so now before we can go collect the points you had to have decided where you're going to put the points and keep in mind that ground control points do not have to be targets that you throw on the ground they can be painted arrows on concrete they can be well-defined uh, concrete corners asphalt corners Manhole covers are excellent. They're easy to spot from the air. They're round, so it's easy to find the center point. Um, painted stripes on the asphalt are also good. The, the parking, the lines that are in at the stop sign, those are good. Anything that is permanent on the ground and well-defined makes for an excellent ground control point. When you do not have those available, when you're out in the field and grass, then you do have to use a target that you throw down. Next step, we're going to record the ground control point. When you set this up, set it up so your feet are downwind. And I always have the face, I rotate it to where my face is going to be facing the north. So every, every point that I collect, my face, the one with the power button will be to the north. My legs will be downwind so it's oriented the same throughout the entire survey. Alright, so we are now ready to click on survey down here at the bottom. And we're going to add a new one. We're going to call it Tutorial. Now, we'll save that. And I'm just going to stay in UTM 16 ellipsoid height. That's good. And so I'm ready to click Add a Point. So I'm going to add. Now, the first thing you always want to check, pole height. Verify that that is set correctly, and it is. I'm going to hit Save. My averaging, for the sake of the video, it's going to be short. I normally do like two minutes when I'm doing multiple ground control points for photogrammetry but for this we're going to do 10 seconds I'm going to hit save you can if you're using RTK you can turn on to only collect averaging for a fix only but many of you will not be doing that so you can leave that turned off I'm going to hit measure at the end of the 10 seconds it will beep it'll let you know that it's done and we'll pick up and move to the next point there you go, it's done. 
All right, so this is ground control point number two. Again, feet are downwind. My face, generally speaking, your wind will never change, and therefore, your face will always remain to the north. So we're just simply gonna click measure. So after you got the initial one set up, this is actually very easy. Just go from point to point, click measure, and it's done. So if you had 10 points or 100, it would just be rinse and repeat from here on out. So we're gonna say that we're done for the day. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go back to projects up here in the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna go back to receivers. I'm gonna go into logging. And then we're gonna go ahead and stop the log. It's been logging for nine minutes. And now look, when you're doing a normal job, you're gonna be out a lot longer, especially on a single frequency receiver. You need, it needs to be 30 minutes. 30 minutes minimum on the, the RS, RS Plus. Now on the RS2, the dual frequency, it could be a shorter period of time and still get decent results. But on the L1, it needs to be 30 minutes. So even if you just gotta let it sit, let it sit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the logging. I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna come back to receivers. Or actually, I'm gonna click on the receiver up at the top and I'm gonna say shut down. There we go, shut down. Let's go turn off the base. So the very last step, we're gonna to come to the base and we're gonna go ahead and check it. We are connected, good. We're gonna to connect to the ReachView 3 app. There's our base. We're gonna go into logging and we're gonna shut the log down. Close out, go to the base and we'll click on shut down and shut down. Well, that wraps it up. And in a nutshell, that is how you collect ground control points. If it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you would like to see this video in greater detail, put it down in the comments. Or if there are other workflows or things that you would like for me to do videos on, please put that in the comments. I will respond and I'll see what I can do to make those. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.